Hey there, one the SoCal playing VLDCX, the Golden Bone Mine, brought to us by We Too. Who knows what to expect, man? The story is hell of a mine called the Golden Bone Mine. All right, is there gonna be gold like coin palette using bone graphics? I mean, that's what I'm immediately thinking, but uh, head left. What if I go here to do it? It's, this is your left, though. You know? This is Mario's left. I went left. Oh, no, I'm stuck in Murder Zone Storm Place. Well, I lost a life here. There's nothing I could do. All right, here we go. Golden Bone Mine. Here we go. Look at that. Everything is dirt. We got a big old sign. And a Goomba being confused. Uh, he's the workman. He's so uh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, wasn't gold wasn't coin palette. It's, it's just yellow Koopa palette. Maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't know. There's lava and there's grass that's managing to grow inside this mine. It's pretty impressive. Hey guy. Uh, there's a secret exit in there somewhere that I'm not gonna get. It's fine. We can pretend otherwise. Look at that though. You got a Dagadon, right? Well, there's the key. I think I found a key. I found a node block. Alright, so there's a P switch somewhere. And using that, that's how we're gonna get that. Um I don't know if I wanna go down or well like Okay, well down there is a Dagadon. Alright, let's see. So here Game kinda expects you to have yellow switch pal. Okay, so over the bat. Got it. Like, what does these mean? Like, the little, like, goalposts mean? Okay, if I had a Dagadon, I could go there. That's pretty exciting. Oh, shoot. Well, okay. That was just general clumsiness with how I was maneuvering my thumb around my D-pad there. That was all on me. I could have done that better. Here we go once again. Uh, through the mine. All right. So, I'm... It's not, you know, it's, this seems to be... A pretty inoffensive level. Whether that's a good quality to have or not is an honest matter of debate. Is this guy gonna get in here? He sure will. Look at him splaying his wings like there. Like he was trying to attract attention. Yeah, so there's a P-switch somewhere. I don't know where. I will maybe never know where. It could be anywhere. Could be a bop you can block, or maybe not. All right, so I, I'm not getting that dragon coin. The key is up there. How you get up there, you probably need like a key switch or something. Or maybe if you press, whoa, well like a trampoline? That's what I was actually thinking of. I think there's anything here. Well, see, cause there is a bone there sticking out. So I'm trying to do the, I'm trying to jump off the hill by pressing the jump button. All right, there's stuff up there. Is there like just a cape somewhere? And he can fly everywhere. That's a good time for everyone, including the sun. I don't know. I'm just doing. I'm just doing. Pl okay. Well, there's stuff going on on in the, in the beneath. There's a pipe we can go in here. So it brings you to a bonus place that had not yet been mined, or was this added by the miners? Mystery to be beholden by generations going forward. You can even dive here and you miss out on this sweet, like, double row of- Whoa, hi there, guys. <laughs> you guys just hang out here often, being green and hopping a lot. Midpoint? Unbelievable. So, about that midpoint you need for a secret exit. Either you find like you find it later and there's a way to get back, or I missed something ridiculous. Everything is possible in the Book of the Dead. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap lock. There we go. Look at that. That's right. You're sliding versus my sliding. I'm sorry, but I got years of experience. Oh, I wanted to get in there. As you, as you could tell, just kind of like squeeze myself in there. I bet that there's something to gain from that. Yeah, all that money just existing. So this is the slow auto scroll part level. Always a daring move to do, no matter what style you're going for. I don't know, yeah, I think this is just like money in an easy mode. Well, this is a lot of bones. Like, you know, gold mine, bone mine. I kind of had an idea to be a couple of bones here and there, but now we got entire structures just made out of the thing balancing on itself in precarious, unnatural ways. 
I don't think the miners here were really respectful of the material. Wow, as soon as I stepped slightly away, it shot at me. I guess I should have seen it coming. Should have I jumped away instead? Uh, well, there's something there, but not something I'll ever be able to visit. Like, you need all the switches. This is a post-game secret exit in a one- in a one-level game. How can I complain? Oh, maybe it was just another- just a shortcut. Here goes the silver bone! I cannot interact with it. It's- it's just differently colored. That's- that's all there is. The green pipe! Now that's what I call a treasure worth celebrating. There's a, a springboard abandoned behind me there. I guess I could use it to get more tapes here. Everything is possible forever, but none of it is ever true. Yeah, if you want a secret exit, there's somewhere, somehow, a P-switch. Have fun! This was otherwise an extremely inoffensive, just kind of happy-go-lucky place, you know? You root around the mine, you find a dead thing, and like, wow, I got something to write about on my blog. Covert Volcano by Monkey Shrapnel. <laughs> a pretty amazing username, if I do say so myself. Since there's a secret exit, I'm not gonna get. And dragon coins that I'm probably not gonna get. But the moon, I'm going to find a way. Don't you worry about me or my similars. It's the covered midpoint, whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Is there like a way? Is the midpoint doesn't work, so you gotta use an alternate dot? I don't know. Let's find out. So, I mean, as of now, I feel like the volcano is not doing a great job being covert. Like, it's just, check it out, there's magma everywhere. It's magma, because there's a roof above our head. Uh, and there's, there's sky blocks. That's pretty rad. Pipes are orange. Very glad to be here. Okay, I don't know where I want to go, so there we go. Follow my, you know, coin guides. K can be accurate. Is it really a guide if it's two monies? Maybe. Here you can go in the side path, slide in the snow! Well, technically, it's cloud, but it's, it's pretty good equivalent. You can get one dollar here. Oh boy. Oh, I let's see. If I had more money from that bot block, I probably. Whoa, Jer, plants. I probably would have had the one up. Oh, hey, give me a feather, huh? What does that mean, though? Can I fly up there? Like that mysterious area? How about that? I don't know, man. Alright, let's try. Let's get to see. Whoa, okay. Shoot, well. I tried my best, which was not very good. <laughs> Alright. Hey, now, it's the dotted square line. No one is red to fly away, my beetle friend. I gotta go at the same speed of a skull, and I've internalized the speed, so it wasn't the problem. But yeah, whenever you can't see the skull raft, it's always kind of stressful now, because you can't see it, and boy howdy, does it just want to despawn. It is the single sprite in the game that just does not want to, like, put in his hours at the office and will find any excuse at all, whatsoever, to just not be there anymore. Okay, oh, hey, we're doing this again. <laughs> this seems similar in some weird fashion. Well, let's see what happens. We got a roof. No, see, now it's a little bit different. You get to thwack away a plant, and it's not something you can always claim from the dreamscape hour. Give me your wallet, Blarg. I don't want to steal it. I just want to see how it was made so I can look at it at the factory and rebuild it, but better. All right, look, there's a green block there. That means that there's a green block there. Look at that. You don't often get to do earthquakes with a cape. It's always such a neat move, but it's just very rarely relevant. Oh, lava here is getting all toothy, you know? Toothache lava volcano. That was always my nickname in college for reasons I do not understand. Look at that. This is basically vanilla, vanilla secret one, but like more different. And not like it weirdly like repeat setups, it feels like. Like, didn't we not go, like, up that weird kind of big, like, hill? I know, it's weirdly repetitive. 
Like, it's just, it's not, maybe there's something secret underneath there. I will never know. And that's probably for a bed. Maybe that's where the secret exit is. Oh, wow, you can kill plants by sliding into them. I wasn't sure. That's not something you get to do very frequently. And yeah, like, this is why I just don't think going for a secret exit is worth it. I think to get a secret exit is you replay most of the level, but you go under that landmass there instead of over. Nothing is learned, nothing really matters. Just do it this way. Just make just make one big comfy level. I still don't agree with the rules of ELC 11 where there was a hard time limit, but man, not forcing secret exit was a good call. Movie Night by Jerry Harris. All right, it's going to be the third level for today, so we're probably going to stop there. Whoa. Everything is there, but none of it matters. I, st I it feels so mean though the way I just announce it so proudly. But this is my decision. Movie night. It's night at the sea. Look at that. The stars. Thanks to the VLDC enemy fun, seated by the SMCW, SMWC rather, Sumer, yeah, Association of Operatic Plants now have a pipe to call their own. Wow! I've never seen that before. Oh man, this is such a good day. I'm gonna make sure I don't bop any, because that just feels kind of, kind of mean. Well, I mean, does, does that just mean that you're just kind of gonna make sure that there's gonna be lots of pipes, lots of plants in it? Is that the gimmick? I don't know how that relates to movie night yet, but I'm sure there will be a way. Well, that guy. Oh, wait. So this implies, like, that there's a secret here then, because he has a pipe to call his own. If that's meant to be a hint, that was really clever. And I mean, it worked, because I understood. And this pipe doesn't, isn't home to anything. It's just there. We just got these long pipes. We, we, we have too many pipes, even. Like, that's a great problem to have, to be perfectly reasonable. Alright, well, I have embroiled myself in a vertical section that will lead me to Tom Foolery and Tom Batteries. And that's just fine that way. Look at that money that I can just pick up. Whoa, I heard your steps, Charlie, even before you even existed. How loud can you be? So hey, this is the day where I play underground parts. Yeah! I did it. I found the secret exit. I mean, the hint was so good. I had to follow up on it. Uh, you know? So there you go. That's how you make me play a secret exit. Make me feel real clever. That's step one. Step two, don't put it at the end of the level. If you're gonna fork your level, like, don't wait until I'm three-fourths of the way through. Put it right at the beginning. That's... that's the optimal solution to this problem that doesn't really exist. Look, I'm just giving even more future piranha plants homes. Wow, I am a man carved from the generosity bone. There's the movie night! This is a big old movie screen. I guess that's the movie ghost! I mean, yeah, that does look like a big screen. Like, it's it's kind of really well made, honestly. Oh, oh, look at that! Oh, there's a current up there! Okay, confirmed. We're in a cinema now. Uh, having all these cinemas not separated by soundproof walls feels like they would create kind of, kind of a thing. Unless, like, this is a drive-through? Drive-in? I don't, I don't think you can fit a car through these pipes, though. Like, they would have to be tiny cars, but I mean, maybe if you bring a go-kart, but then it's the same problem. Like, go-karts don't have walls, so if you rig the sound through your go-kart's radio, everyone's gonna hear it anyway. So no, you, you created a problem, you created a solution to that problem you created, except that solution to the problem that you created doesn't actually... is not a solution, basically. That's a flock of ghosts. I don't know, is there a name for a group of ghosts? Probably not, because they're not animals. I, I, but I don't know, man. The science community sometimes devotes a lot of time and energy to really strange things that, you know, sometimes it's just Goofy Nerd that managed to trick someone into giving them the money they need for their weird joke research, and that's fantastic. 
redistribution of sausages. Hey, Big Boo, you're a big guy. There's a trick to you, I don't know why. Just burn that guy to a crisp. That guy's hopping, that's legit. He is a legit hopster. That is the only qualify. Whoa, boy, that could have gone ugly. What a bad cinema, just putting all their crates together right here with the audience. Absolutely ludicron. Oh, and yeah, there's the last Dagadon. I wonder if I'll be able to get it. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, that's a jump I can do. Look at that. Uh, see, it's a jump I could do. I mean, I got all the Dagadon. I got the two exits. I just rent something. Okay, still have those prize blockbusters. They go out of it. No, this blockbuster has gone out of business. I think. Have they? I'm actually not sure. This was three years ago when this level was made. I'm not sure if I would have known back then. I don't know. I'm now. I know they're in trouble. Wouldn't they bought by someone? What happened to blockbusters? Normally I'd Google it, but I'm playing a video game right now. But I was just asked to have a great day. You can't enter the level. But my friend, I'll do it. I'll have a great day just for you.